everyone. Welcome to my first tier ranking video. Now for this tier ranking video, um, we are going to be tier ranking all my first viewing movies that I watched 2020 as a way to cap off this dumpster fire of a year. So, uh, most of these were actually not on most of my videos that I did. So, uh, I thought I'd add more of them to it. So, uh, but here are the ranking categories. F is for favorite, which is basically either one of these films made my favorite movie list. Uh, G is for good or great. It was a good or great film, but it's just not worthy enough to reach number F, letter F. And D is for disappointment. Uh, just, I wanted it to be great, but it was just, just disappointing my expectations. M is for mediocre. Uh, just wasn't that, in, I just was not impressed, and B is just for, well, bad. So now let's start off with our first one, Gremlins, Joe Dante. This is just going to go to good. I don't think it's as great as everyone says it is, though. It's a fun movie to watch, it's got great effects, it's nice to maybe watch on Christmas, but that's really all, I don't really care for it that much. I mean, it's, it's a good movie, but I just don't care for it that much. So next one, Munich. This is going to go to my favorites. This is just going to go up there because I just love uh, spy thrillers. And um, this, is an, this basically combines uh, history and spy thriller. If you like uh, history and spy thrillers, you will definitely get a kick out of this movie. Alright, next one, Groundhog Day. This is going to go to my favorite films. I really do love this film. I love Bill Murray. I just love the story. I love the comedy. This is just uh, the message. This is just a nice romance film to watch. Alright, next one. Shawshank Redemption. Another favorite of mine. I really enjoyed this prison film. Just very, very charming at times. Very dark. Some scenes that actually get to me. And I just love the ending with the feeling of success. So, Alright, so on to the next one. Galaxy Quest. I'm going to put this one. It's, gonna, it's uh, a G. It's a good movie, uh, it's got a lot of great acting, uh, it's definitely got a great story behind it, I just love that scene with Tim Allen, when he explains the truth, but man, I really wish there was a, um, director's cut, uh, again, I explained it more in my first viewing episode, but anyway, uh, please, DreamWorks, release the, uh, director's cut of Galaxy Quest, thank you, and, uh, yeah, Gal Galaxy Quest, pretty good film, uh, if you're a Trekkie fan, you will definitely love this one. Alright, Night of the Living Dead. This movie was pretty good. Uh, this is definitely an important film. It started an entire genre of films. And, uh, yeah, Night of the Living Dead. Good survival film. Our next one, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Watch this one, um, first time during Christmas. Uh, this was a fun film to watch. It was nice. I liked it. It was just kind of a nice Christmas comedy to watch, but I uh, definitely had its, uh, it sh I did, I did have, like, some issues with it, some I really, it's really not my favorite one out of the, uh, Vacation series, but anyway, fun film to watch. Alright, so next one, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, uh, this movie is just great, I want to see more, I have to see more of Edgar Wright's comedies, but this movie was just so delightful to watch. Alright, next one, Lethal Weapon 3. Let's go into favorites, because I really do love the Lethal Weapon movies now. Uh, and I especially do really like this one, too. This definitely should have... This is where the series should have ended. I love the villain, I love the action, and I really do like it. Okay, next one, uh, Manhattan, uh, Woody Allen. This is a... This was actually a nice little rom-com romance drama with, uh... Uh, Woody Allen, and it was, uh, actually neat to watch. Okay, so next one is Being John Malkovich. I'm actually putting this right here because Being John Malkovich is actually my all-time favorite movie now. And just for now, but I, I think this movie's great. Great cast, great story, great writing, and just great universe in general. Okay, next one, Bad Boys 2. Uh, this is my favorite out of the three. It's just insane with its action. It's like, it's increased from the last one. Yeah, Bad Boys 2. Very funny movie. I love it. 
Okay, next one is uh, Brazil. Terry Gilliam. Again, I explained this on my top ten not Christmas movie list. It's a great movie. It's got a lot of good stuff with it. But, um... I love... I mean, it's got good effects, but it just has... It definitely has a lot of story issues. Okay, next one. Uh, Lethal Weapon 2. Going to, uh... Number... Going to, um... Favorites. I love Lethal Weapon 2. It's a... It's a very great film to watch. I like it. I love the, the one-liner at the end. I, this film is great. Okay, Samurai Cop. This is really going to go to bad, because I do have... I do. There's some stuff that I like about it. I like the, uh, the acting. Like, I like how bad the acting is. Uh, I love the... Um, I love Robert Zadar. Uh, but there's just some stuff that I think is, like, really boring. But again, I really love that di- that uh, restaurant scene with the freaking waiter who's just insane. I don't know, that just kind of gets to me. Okay, uh, next one, Little Shabba Horrors. This is going to go to F for favorites. This is definitely a great film that combines horror and musical and comedy. It's just a good mix of it. And so yeah, Little Shabba Horrors, nice film. I was just in it, in the puppet. So yeah. Alright, next one. Alright, now we got another bad one here. Romeo and Juliet from 1996, directed by Baz Luhrmann and starring Leo DiCaprio. Yeah, this is just a bad. This is just not a good movie that works, and it's not the that it's in modern day. It the story of Romeo and Juliet can definitely work in modern day. It's just that they thought of the stupid idea of making everyone speak Shakespearean in the film when like most of the cast is like American. It just doesn't work. They should have got more English-speaking actors like Pete Pothelthwop, who is mostly in the film. He has an American accent on, which is like, why couldn't you just make him have a British accent on? I just... Man, this film is just not good. And, uh... Yeah, what, what, a, what a just dumpster fire of a film. Okay, uh, next one, Goldeneye. It's gonna go to good. Uh, it's definitely the best out of the four Brosden films. It's definitely a fun action film. I, I forgot to mention in the last, in my episode on the Brosden films, but I really love, there's a lot of miniature work in the film, which I, I admire highly. I, I really like it. I really like it. Alright, uh, next one, The Terror. I really don't know where to put this one. Uh, I'm just gonna put it in Mediocre. It, I wanted it to be more cheesy, but it just really wasn't, and I just don't even know what I was watching at the entire time. Okay, next one, uh, Gone with the Wind. Uh, great flick, I love it, and, uh, longest movie ever made, that's all I have to say. Okay, next one, Schindler's List, this is gonna go as a favorite of mine, I, and I'm not just putting it here because of the subject matter, I think it's a really great film, great acting, great production design, great direction, just a great film in general. Okay, next one, uh, Gangs of New York. Gonna go, um, for F. I love this film. It's probably because I'm part Irish. And, uh, this is definitely one of the, my favorite Scorsese films. And I just love Gangs of New York. Okay, next one, Face Off. It's gonna go to good. I really did not think I was gonna love this movie. It was because of Mission Impossible 2, but I ended up enjoying it at the end. So, uh, yeah. It was pretty good. Alright, next one is The Help. Uh, so I'm just going to put this in really mediocre. It was just a mediocre film. I had some good stuff about it. But all in all, it was just really not working for me at all. Just There were some dialogue scenes that are kind of corny. All around, it has a lot of corny stuff about it. It's just all, it's just corny to the bone. Okay, so next one is uh, The Pianist. It's going to go to good. I watched this with my dad, and he really thought the movie was just boring, and Adrian Brody was just boring. But all around, it was, I mean, to me, I think it's a good enough film that, uh, I think it does t- depict a lot of accurate stuff to the Holocaust. But, uh, yeah, it's a... F- it's a good enough movie. Okay, uh, next one, The Florida Project. 
uh, Sean Baker with Willem Dafoe. I think this movie was a bit overrated, but it still has a lot of good stuff about it, but the child acting was like, I think people, people went too crazy over it. Okay, uh, next one is Lost in Translation. I don't know where I should put this, so, uh, well, I just want to put an F. I just love, because I just love Bill Murray and Scarlett Johansson. Okay, next one, uh, Marriage Story. I don't know. Uh, I'll just put it good, because it did have a lot of great stuff about it that I loved. Just the performances. I think this, Scar Jo should have just won for this movie. She was just really good in that, in this movie. Alright, so, um, let me just try it if I, oops, like, since it's, wait. Shoot, I just screwed it all up. Okay, sorry about that. Don't know why I had to do, don't know why I did that. Okay, anyway, uh, back to the list. Okay, so, uh, next one, uh, European Vacation. It's gonna go to good. Uh, it was still a fun, it was a fun film to watch. Uh, basically, it was vacation, but in Europe. It still works at the end. I really do think it works. And it was just, just fun. It was really just a fun movie to watch. I don't know what else to say. It was, it, was, it has Eric Idle in it, who I like, and it was, uh, it was fun. Okay, next one, uh, World War Z. This is a fun, you know, popcorn blockbuster with uh, Brad Pitt, and uh, I just enjoy, I enjoyed it. Especially Brad Pitt fighting zombies. I mean, yeah, of course I'm gonna watch it. Okay, next one, The Departed. Uh, favorites. I was just uh, I really loved The Departed. It was just a very great, gritty Boston crime thriller about the mafia and all of that, and. Uh, I liked it. I just heavily enjoyed it. I love the acting. I love everything about it. Okay, Catch Me If You Can. Another Leo film. I'm gonna go with favorites. I just love the story. Uh, just about this teen who runs and takes on the life of a con artist and uh, gets the girls. And it's basically this crime rom-com film. And I really enjoy it. Okay, so, uh, Bad Boys, the first one, gonna be a G. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not, I think 2, again, is just the, uh, it's the best one. And, uh, yep, it's really at Bad Boys. It's, uh, I, I don't think, I really don't thought, I did not think, um, uh, Bad Boys for Life wasn't the, the greatest, wasn't the best out of the trilogy, but I thought, Bad Boys 2 was just, just, I think it's just the best one. Bad Boys is, is alright. Okay, Green Book. Uh, I'm going to put it in good. It had a lot of cheesy stuff about it, but uh, it's going to be the same as Games in New York. But uh, I like this one because I'm Italian. And that's what a lot of people say about uh, Life is Beautiful. Alright, uh, next one. Uh, center Stage. This is also good. Really, I mean... Uh, I guess it wasn't well received when it came out, but um, I think it's a good film. It's a good film, anyway. It's a nice little film about ballet, and I, I kind of enjoyed it. Okay, uh, next one, uh, Vacation. This is actually my favorite one. I don't know really why, but uh, I want to talk about the Vacation films in like fut in the future. But I like, I enjoy, just I, I like it more. There's something about it that th this one is more darker, uh, just the humor is better, I don't know, something about it that I like, that I, I, I just like better. Okay, House on Haunted Hill, this is going to good as well, uh, this is just a fun horror film with Vincent Price, and Vincent Price is pretty underrated. Okay, next one, uh, Tomorrow Never Dies, going to mediocre, just a mediocre film from the, uh, Rosin era of Okay, uh, next one, Crash. This is just probably the worst Oscar win. I, man, Crash is just not a great film in general. Just awful film. Don't like it. Don't don't ever watch it. All right, next one, um, Harold and Maude. This is just going to favorites. It's just a nice quirky comedy film from the '70s that's just very fun to watch. I, I, I heavily enjoy this film. I love it. This is a nice film from the '70s. That's all. Okay, next one, Shin Godzilla, the, uh, the last film from Toho, made in Japan back in 2016. 
this one's just very disappointing. I just, I wish Godzilla was done better. He's barely in it, and he's, he looks really stupid every scene he's in. And I mean it, like, every scene he, he's in is just, he, he just looks so stupid. Okay, uh, next one, Die Another Day. This is also going to disappoint it. I don't think it's as bad as everyone thinks it is, but it just kind of real must ruin Bond a bit. And, uh, I had a great story, but just, it, it just, they fell, it all fell apart. Okay, next one, The Breakfast Club. This movie was good. It was just a good film. I enjoyed it. I'm not a big Hughes guy. Never really will be. It was just a good team comedy. It was enjoyable, and, uh, that's really it. Alright, next one, uh, Legally Blonde. This movie was just, it was just fun. Just a fun rom-com with uh, Reese Witherspoons, and, and I enjoyed it. Alright, next one. The Big Short. This is probably my favorite thing uh, Steve Carell did after Outside of the Office. And uh, it's good direction, but uh, definitely some stuff that is confusing. But all around, I actually kind of liked uh, It's a good movie. Alright, next one. Uh, Reservoir Dogs. Going to G. Um... For Quentin Tarantino's first film, it's, uh, it's really great. Oh, wait, no, wait, no, it's, screwed that one up. Oh, uh, yeah, it's probably one of my favorite films. I love it. It's Reservoir Dogs, great movie. White Zombie, uh, I'm gonna put that in, uh, Mediocre. Just did not know what the heck I was watching. Alright, next one, Rushmore by Wes Anderson. This is gonna go to favorites. Heavily enjoyed this one, too. Um, this is gonna be my main film. If if anyone recom was asking me for a recommendation, I would just give them Rushmore because Rushmore's got everything you want. It's a teen comedy. It's got Bill Murray. It's got love triangles. It's definitely everything you want from a, like a teen comedy. All right, next one, Lethal Weapon, the first one. Uh, I'm gonna put again, put this in uh, favorite. I love the first three Lethal Weapon. We'll get to the um, fourth one soon. Okay, next one, in Midnight in Paris. This is definitely my favorite Woody Allen film. I just love its interesting commentary on uh, famous historical people. And, uh, yeah, it's a very enjoyable film. I highly recommend it, too. Okay, uh, next one is Hugo. I'm going to put this in Disappointing. It was definitely Scorsese's weakest film, hands down. Uh, good visual effects, good child acting, just... Really, I don't care. I mean, if Scorsese wants to teach kids about old cinema, then fine. And this, I just don't care for this movie. Okay, next one, Home Alone 3. Just crap. Just total garbage. Just, this is the worst film that I watched from 2020. Just uninspiring. I, I'm just disgusted how John Hughes wrote this movie. It's like, Why? John, why, John, why did you have to make this like one of your last movies? This movie disgusts me. It's just, it's no, there's no heart like how there was in the first two. Just nothing. Okay, The Patriot. Mel Gibson. Uh, disappointing. Uh, listen, I would have put it in mediocre, but it definitely had a lot of great action scenes that I heavily enjoyed. It has a lot of stuff that I liked, um, but this... Just ha I just not, did not like the family dynamic of the movie. <coughs> <coughs> All right. Sorry about that. Just a little cough. Okay, uh, next one. Um, Clueless. Reese Witherspoon. This is going to go into good. This is a nice teen comedy from the 90s. That's really all I got. Okay, next one. The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. I'm uh, going to go to Disappointing. It was... Really, I just was disappointed by this movie. I need to watch it again, because I did see it on a pretty crappy version of it. But anyway, just don't really want to even rewatch it. Just don't, just don't care. This movie just should have been better. Okay, uh, next one is Anchorman. Uh, this is going to go to good. This is a nice, fun comedy with Will, F Will Ferrell, uh, you know, Steve Carell, uh, Paul Rudd, and uh, Packer. The office, and uh, yeah, that's all I got. All right, uh, next one Inglorious Bastards from Quentin Tarantino. It's gonna go into favorites. Uh, heavily enjoyed The Bastards, which is a 
fun World War II comedy that just changes history. And it's uh, it's brilliant. Just a brilliant film. All right, next one, Across the Universe. So if you don't know what this one is, this is Julie Taymor, and uh, it was just fine. I mean, it's just, it was just so, I mean, I'm sorry, it was just so bad. It was just like, come on, really? Like, I mean, I love the Beatles. It's a Beatles jukebox comedy. I love the Beatles so much, and they just keep cramming in all these songs, and it just, it's so uninspiring. Across the Universe is not worth checking out. I wanted to put this in, like, disappointing or mediocre, but no, I just can't. Alright, next one, uh, Master and Commander. This is another great, good film from Russell Crowe back in his Gladiator days. I, it was good. It was a good movie, just not really that much to say. Definitely had a lot of great production design and cinematography, which is one for. Alright, next one. Uh, the Perks of Being a Wallflower. Nice uh, high school comedy, just terrible ending. Okay, Live and Let Die. I'm actually going to put this in my favorite films. It's because it's just such an ultimate ultimate guilty pleasure film of all time. It's It really is, in my opinion. Ultimate popcorn film. Hands down, even before popcorn was a term. Okay, next one. Annie Hall. Um, the thing the thing that I really don't like about it is that it beat Star Wars back in 1978. Just Star Wars should have won, not this movie. And uh, But anyway, it's a good film. That's really it. It's, it's basically, uh, if you like Seinfeld, definitely guess check it out. Okay, next one. Uh, the World is Not Enough. Christopher Nolan. And, um... Shoot, why did I say The World's Not Enough for Christopher Nolan? No, he did not direct this film. Nolan has not made a uh, Bond film. Just grew up right there. Uh, but anyway, World is Not Enough is a... Uh, it's an alright Bond film, just really not, not that much. Great opening, though, but... Uh, Haggard's good in this. Okay, now... Okay, I was confusing this with another one. Interstellar. Interstellar was a good enough... Um, space movie directed by Christopher Nolan... It's basically 2001 A Space Odyssey meets uh, Inception. That's really all you're going to get. I just, just some stuff I didn't really care for. Uh, Lethal Weapon 4 is disappointing. I'm not going to say it's mediocre or bad, because it definitely had some alright action, but, man, the ending was awful, and with this fifth film, going to bring back Richard Donner, I think, just, please, just, Warner Brothers, just have Shane Black direct this. It's just going to be better if the creator ends this franchise. Just please. I'd rather they do that. Okay, next one. Uh, the Green Mile. I am putting this up with my favorite films. Uh, Shawshank is the better movie, but Green Mile is just better emotionally, and that's just because of the ending. And uh, yeah, Definitely watch this one after you watch uh, Shawshank. It's definitely important of you to watch it right after uh, Shawshank. Alright, next one, it's Top Gun. This is actually going to go to mediocre, because I just thought this movie was just mediocre. Just just didn't care for the film at all. I was just... Well, I, I just didn't care for it at all. I just... Nah. Okay, uh, Hail Caesar. This is going to go to good. Um, I haven't seen that many Coen Brother films. I need to see more. But, uh, Hell Caesar was an interesting comedy. It was basically if the Coen brothers did Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. This is kind of what you'll get. And, uh, that's really all. It was a nice, just good comedy. That's all. Uh, next one, Walk Car, The Dewey Cox Story with John C. Riley. Favorite film. Uh, great comedy. And if you're sick of music biopics, just definitely watch it because they poke fun at them to death. Uh, alright. Next one, um, Plan 9 from Outer Space. I'm actually going to put this in good, because uh, unlike Samurai Cop, Plan 9 was actually enjoyable, and um, and has actually done well better than bad movies like Samurai Cop and Burt Demick, Shock and Terror. Alright, uh, next one, Braveheart. This is going to go to good. I'm struggling if I should put this in good or uh, disappointing, 
because um, it's got a lot of great action, but it's got a lot of boring stuff. But when there's action, it's really freaking great. All right, next one. This is the Lord of the Rings, The Return of the Kings. This is just going to be disappointing. I don't know. I think the ending to Lord of the Rings just should have been better. I don't know. I really just don't like the Lord of the Rings Return of the King that much. I Two Towers I really felt, thought was great. I don't know again why not many people love the Two Towers. Alright, so for the next one, The Social Network. Gonna go to Good. It was a good film. Sorkin and Fincher teaming up is wonderful. But that's really it. I just don't have that much to say about it. It's, like, it's a good film. Just a good film anyway. Okay, next one is A Few Good Men. The same. Uh, I think Jack Nicholson is just brilliant in this film, uh, and uh, Tom Cruise is great. And uh, yeah, there you go. That's it. That's my tier ranking of all the films I've seen from 2020. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, 2020 over. Let's just God hope 2021 is great. I don't have to make a tier list that has just a bunch of films that are not from 2020. So yeah, there you go. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you next time. Bye.